Hello and welcome back to Vampyr. So, we are looking for Elizabeth, my wife, or I don't know. The relationship between us is quite foggy. Wait, what? Is there gonna be a... <clears throat> big twist? Hey there, uh, quad demon. Beautiful morn, my child. It looks like dawn is here at long last. Can't you just leave me alone? Your precious queen has been sent back to the bottomless pit from whence she came. The nightmare is almost over. I am here to say goodbye. The sun's warmth exhausts me. Soon I will rejoin my queen in her endless sleep. It is over. You did well. No way. <clears throat> There's no way it's over. Why are you saying it's over? About the Red Queen? So our beloved <coughs> mother will just <coughs> go back to sleep now that enough people have suffered. Is that it? No, Jonathan. The Morrigan has been appeased because you dared confront her. You have prevailed, my bittersweet champion. What does she seek? What does she seek? Revenge? Retribution? She seeks nothing, since she only dreams of it. In the ancient tongue, when I was young, her name meant Ghostly Queen. Pray she never fully awakens, for her wrath knows no bounds. What are you to her? <clears throat> and what are you to her? Her counterpart? Her opponent in some timeless game. She is my mother. My dreadful and sour-tempered mother. She is yours too, in a way. But you are not born from her terrible womb like me. You are but a distant child. Oh, I see. <coughs> About the disaster? Why did Harriet Jones become a disaster? You are the doctor. You hold the knowledge needed to answer such a question. Have you the answer? Yes. All, all Ikors are female? I noticed that all the Ikors were female. As if a male couldn't endure the metamorphosis. Harriet was also a bitter and resentful woman. As was her daughter. If the Morrigan prefers despoiled women to become the vessels of her wrath, we should be thankful that but one disaster hath been cast upon this wobbling <clears throat> world. Ikor seem to carry various diseases. They did not merely turn people into skulls. Their presence alone spreads death. Who knows whether the Red Queen awakens when cursed mortals endure such epidemics? Or if the contagions emerge like a curse as she awakes. <coughs> this is not bloody over. This is not over. I am here to find the true origin of the blood of hate. Tis what? unwise to interfere with a tale rooted so deeply in the suffering of others. <clears throat> Why are you telling him this? What will happen to Ascalon? What will happen to Ascalon? Will you let them run the country from the shadows? I don't interfere with petty political intrigues. Ascalon was built upon the lie of a lineage. Such a deceit cannot last forever. But Lord mm. Redgrave <clears throat> definitely possessed Marshall's blood. Untainted blood from the greatest vampire knight. Really? I wonder how he managed to acquire it. Perhaps I should retrieve this artifact before going back to sleep. About the guard of Prevam. <clears throat> Aren't you concerned? What will become of the vampire hunters? In their leader, you now have a spy behind enemy lines. 
By guiding your progeny, you may yet protect your immortal friends for some time to come. If you dare. What of the Brotherhood? <clears throat> what will become of the Brotherhood? I foresee trouble for them now that your progeny considers becoming the new Primate. But I'm certain the current Primate has no wish to resign. Exactly. And I am not fully convinced your progeny truly understands what dreadful power he is about to defy. <clears throat> Apparently, I have to tell you that I'm here to see Elizabeth. No. I must know why Elizabeth fled here when I discovered she was the original healthy carrier. No. She is not what you say she is. That is a secret you will discover soon enough. And you? Why are you here? Which new thread of which old twisted plan are you seeking to pull now? Tell me the truth. I am just here to salute my sons, and to bid them fare thee well. Your sons? Plural? My god, will you ever stop speaking in riddles? Perhaps I am too old for your spoken language. Perhaps you now have so many subtle words, you no longer hear the simplest ones. William Marshall's blood? <clears throat> Tell me about William Marshall. Why is his blood so strong? He is not stronger than you, only older. You are strong, Jonathan Reed. A champion of your time, chosen to defeat a threat spawned of this generation. Is he here? His blood was not tainted? What? Okay. Is he here? <clears throat> Is William Marshall here? Is that why you're here now, too? Have I not already answered that question? By saying sons, his blood was not tainted? His blood was not tainted. The blood Lord Redgrave possessed. That which I used in the serum. But what if it had been? Then you would have failed, I suppose. For the blood of hate would have corrupted you, too. Seer made of King Arthur's blood? Why are we talking to him about this? When he fought me, Geoffrey McCullum used a serum made of King Arthur's blood. Since then, I have discovered that it was vampire blood. Whose blood was it? You just said it. It was the blood of a king. The blood of the champion I chose to save this land in its time of greatest peril. King Arthur was also your progeny. Why am I not surprised? Yes, he was. But he failed in the end. And for centuries the land suffered his defeat. Who are your sons? Why do you bid them farewell now? You are my son. As is William Marshall. How many you have created? <clears throat> this is madness. How many have you created? <laughs> Who else? Shakespeare? <laughs> Isaac Newton? Alfred the Great? Francis Drake? Thomas More? Guy Fawkes? My progeny is scarce, for I rarely feel the urge to protect this land anymore. But yes, one of those you named is your immortal brother. Maybe you shall meet one night. Ah, oh, I like how you just started dropping names. Are we just puppets? So that is all we are to you. Puppets you create to defeat some threat born from a dreaming devil. No. You are my sons. I am proud of you. I mourn when you fail. Okay. <clears throat> well, speak clearly, man. Mridden. Speak clearly, then. And answer my last question. What is it? Did I defeat the epidemic? Now you've found the castle, Jonathan Reed. Only you can answer that. 
Farewell, my child. I shall dream about you soon. Okay. You do that. <clears throat> I suppose it's still better than you showing up again. It's locked. Let me jump the up. The castle walls look decrepit. Maybe I can find a way to sneak in. I mean, Elizabeth. Oh, this is perfect. No, it's not perfect. <clears throat> How could I not jump up there? Where am I supposed to go? Can I go into the water? I can't. Can I jump up somewhere else? You never know. <clears throat> it's not a skill you can just do anytime. You need to look for a special location. Oh, maybe that way. <clears throat> well, this castle is a mess. Wow, really? Awfully convenient. <clears throat> Stop it, Breed. This whole running in place thing, pretty impressive, but also... <sighs> that will stop you. <clears throat> also this. <clears throat> Mary Englewood. Oh. <clears throat> so, unless it's her daughters, it's possible that uh, Elizabeth lied to me. And she had lives before. <clears throat> 30. No, no, no. 44. Yeah. Uh, Robin Englewood Now this is this is something else This is not it <clears throat> So she had a family Like hundreds of years ago Can I just go in? It's locked all right. Open it up! The lady of the manor isn't expecting visitors. Well, too bad. The visitors are coming in anyway. <clears throat> Maybe it's just my imagination, but I think I smell Elizabeth's perfume. She must be here somewhere. Dear Lady Ashbury, thank you for your recent letter and all the good news it contained. I cannot wait to finally meet you when you arrive in London. <coughs> the garden is beautiful under the summer sky. Although I noted your wish to avoid heat and direct sunlight because of your frail health. You're welcome any day. We'll discuss this wonderful idea of yours concerning the foundations of an orphanage for your for young ladies inspired by the French uh, Mason Royale de Saint Louis sadly closed when the French people chose my god I can't even write these uh, words down to cut their king's head off <clears throat> such a place destined to provide a good education to gifted but poor orphan girls will surely excite my friends here in the city you can count on me and my influence to help make your project a huge success. Countess Alexandra Somerset. Okay. Nothing to... This castle is falling apart. Picture of Lady Ashbury in Paris. That's a terrible picture! Oh. It might as well be a picture of a potato. In, st in front of the Eiffel Tower. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, Portrait of Elizabeth Blackwood by Johannes Vermeer. What? What? Oh, recent painting. Portrait of uh, Dr. Jonathan Reed by Elizabeth Ashbury. Elizabeth, my love, you allow my portrait to watch over you while you sleep. I'm flattered. I, I don't know. I don't... The thing is, our, our relationship is a bit in question. Like, I suppose we are like... <clears throat> At this point, I would just say that we are... I, I can kind of consider her a friend. But we definitely not more than that. But we kind of act like we are married. So... And also we talk very formally. <clears throat> <sighs> Dear McAllister. As the new legal owner of uh, the Ashbury estate, I intend to quickly engage in the overdue maintenance and repairs of the walls and the crypt of the castle. Among the few architects I invited to send forth proposals, I was most impressed by your respectful approach concerning renovations on historical buildings and their preservation. I would be glad to meet you at your convenience. <clears throat> My only request would be to speak to you directly and not your assistants. Any evening of next month would be agreeable. Uh, you may come to the castle or I can meet you at your office as you prefer. If you agree to come to the castle, I could show you what kind of repairs and modifications I have in mind concerning the crypt, which may need considerable work and reconstruction. Like most castles, this one has a crypt and it holds something special inside. Let's see. Whoa! No! Let me out! Okay, this place is... That uh, sweet fragrance. Elizabeth's perfume. She was here, and recently. Yeah, we could have just completely entered this place. I'm pretty sure that Elizabeth uh, comes in here through the window. Oh, of course. Secret. Secret crypt. But I wanna go upstairs. I was not finished there. She's gonna be in the crypt. 1%. Oh, we can go downstairs more. This painting looks suspicious. Which one? They look the same. They really skimped on the paintings. Painting of the ship. A painting of that woman. Painting of this guy. And exact same painting of the guy again. I'm like, I don't know why you would skimp on these. I, I don't think you should. I can understand, like, uh, identical 3D models, but I do see this in many games. Oh. This is despicable. No! This is tasty! Did they reuse the same pictures? Uh, for the paintings? Uh, of course, you can't just put in like any picture. <clears throat> Fair enough. Still, it's kind of silly when the same ten pictures uh, are present in the entire game. It's like, hmm, really? They have the exact same painting, and these are paintings, so like they really should be identical. Like, at this point, I would just say, like, hey, might as well just have less pictures. It, it's acceptable. It's better than just repeating the same this bloody picture. Despicable. I have this thirst for blood. 
Respect time! Just in case we're gonna get into a fight. So, what else we have? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's actually interesting. That could be the, the red lady. The door has been unlocked. Oh, of course. This is where we came in. I, I can't cannot there. enter. Uh, yeah, I checked that out. Oh, that's the only way to go down? Oh. Or proceed as well. Damn. Wait. Portrait of Lady Ashbury by Vincent Van Gogh. Nice. Elizabeth and Jacob Blackwood in Versailles. Oh, he looks like a tall zombie. Jacob. So many memories. Dear Ashbury, when last we communicated, you asked for the conveyance of a large coffin from Temple Church, London, to the crypt of uh, the Ashbury Castle in Scotland. I'm happy to report your request has finally been validated. My drivers have been informed that, for re security reasons, <clears throat> activate senses with L. It doesn't work. I think that's the console key. I don't know what... Uh, what? You have been hired... For security reasons, guards must always protect the coffin. You have hired these individuals who will be waiting for us in London. They also have been informed that under no circumstance should the carriage try to pass a river by boat, but always by road and bridges where the previous wood and the relics inside the coffin cannot be exposed to humidity and moisture. <clears throat> You'll find a detailed quote uh, from the entire operation attached to this letter. We are ready to go to London as soon as payment is received in full. Okay, I need to activate senses. But I only have the... Oh, what? A sword and a moon are the symbols I should look for. Um. Yeah, look at the secret passage. I already look at the secret passage. I can't really say I'm the best at locating secret passages, but I just lucked out. <clears throat> So should we go in the basement first? Oh, maybe this this doesn't open. It doesn't. That's good. That's good. So we have more dead ends. That's good. It's always the bloody fireplace. The fireplace looks like a big gate. What are these symbols? I can feel a mechanism, but it doesn't work. No! I thought I was onto something. Wait a second. Here's another switch. I should keep looking. Oh. One last switch and... What? What do you mean one last switch? How would you know there are four of them? Oh, sword. Voila. <clears throat> I don't know, it seems like Lady Ashbury might not want to be found. <laughs> it's kind of a, you know, it's like, Hello! Hey Lady Ashbury! Hey Elizabeth! I showed up! Woo! 
I bet you're surprised to see me. Our uh, relationship is... I don't know. I'm not sure what is our status right now, but still. Surprise visit in your family crypt. <clears throat> Drop your sticks, father. You have nothing to be afraid of. Oh, of course. She meets her father a vampire. Shall we abandon this then? Shall we lower our heads? No. No. You taught me that. I like how Life she's heating the place. With bookshelves. Young. How strange. Shall I drink it? Smite it? No, father. He is a friend. Please, rest. I'll take care of it. Gaution, Elizabeth. Deceit runs through these veins. I know, father. What took you so long, Jonathan? What? Is this... Really, him? Yes. This is William Marshall. First Earl of Pembroke, servant of five mortal kings, former regent and saviour of England. The greatest knight who ever lived, according to some. And you called him father? For he gave me eternal life, and much more. I have so many questions, Elizabeth. You always had questions, Dr. Reed. Now that I stand before you both, in this vault, I know not where to begin. We still have a few minutes left. What? Few minutes for what? Do the bookshelves burn in the, di in the background? And we need to go away? Because uh, the smoke fills our lungs? Not like this place has great ventilation. Where are we? Where are we? What is this place? This is the Ashbury Estate. I inherited the title when I purchased the castle. <coughs> is, is this place... Is this... What? Is this place your retreat? Oh, okay. Is this your retreat? Something of a secret place. It's more of a sanctuary, really. This is where I take care of my father. Ever since he became unwell. Someone may find you. I did. Are you not afraid someone might discover you here? It's not that hard to find. Do not assume that I would hesitate to silence anyone who tried to reveal my secret. Fortunately, it has rarely come to that. <clears throat> I flee here. Why did you flee here? When you told me I was the healthy carrier, I had nowhere else to go. You mean you had to return to the real source of this scourge? Yes. To end it once and for all. And what? Will you go back to London? Will you go back to London? No, Jonathan. I do not intend to. And what of your daughter? Charlotte is a strong, independent woman who's about to come into money. I took care of everything. Now it's time for her to shape her future. Wait, what? Do you intend to kill yourself? London is saved? I have destroyed the disaster, this creature that Harriet Jones had become. The epidemic is no more, and London will recover. In time. Yes. You did well, <clears throat> Jonathan. You truly saved the city. Yes, we did. Despite all obstacles. I'm truly convinced we did it together, Elizabeth. I cannot bear knowing I was the cause of all this. Through the use of my own blood. No. This catastrophe was the result of unethical experimentation. And the will of a creature so inexplicably evil she exceeds all the terrible wonders I have seen since my death. But it was my blood all along. 
my corrupted blood of hate, the poisoned blood of my father. A healthy carrier, that's all I am. I don't see why you care so much about this. Would we could cure him? <clears throat> why hide him here? Why are you hiding William Marshall here? How could I not take care of him? He sacrificed himself by giving me the only dose of antidote he had. He gave you the antidote? He gave you the antidote? Yes. And in doing so, he knew he'd have to be confined here. And yet he volunteered. That's how great a man William Marshall was. And still is. What do you do for him? Can we get more antidote? What do you do for him? I visit him as often as possible. I paint the landscapes he will never see again. I feed him with my blood. You feed him? You barely sustain yourself on the weak blood of the dying, yet you give him your blood? After he saved me from the blood rage, I swore I would never kill to feed. He said the same. I think as this, uh... <clears throat> A little bit forced romance, I don't know, would be a, a lot more awkward if uh, I was like a, I was a serial killer. I suppose you can still call John to read a serial killer, but yeah, you know, just a ruthless killer. The current John to read is basically killed Mary, and after that, he was very, very eager to take a. Uh, uh, to jump on the opportunity to defend himself <clears throat> and save the city, so that's nice. Is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? What do you think? He is a thirsty Ekon who has not fed in centuries. An elder vampire driven by an urge to kill and spread the blood of hate. Oh. No redemption? No redemption, then. And yet he thinks he has been offered immortality by the angels to protect the feeble and to smite the unholy. Can he communicate? Okay. I feel like I understand the situation uh, clearly now. Can he communicate? Yes. Sometimes he even seems like the noble knight who saved and raised me. But, you know, the malice never fully leaves his eyes. We could cure him? Yeah. If it can be done, it can be done. We could cure him. It's too late. The blood of hate has run for too long. The antidote would not work on him. I tried. Believe me, I tried. So... Well, you're a carrier, but that's usually not a problem. Marshall infect you? William Marshall infected you? <laughs> he is the true original carrier. Yes. But he saved me. By sacrificing himself. Saved you? How? The tears of angels. The cleansing of impure blood by an older, more powerful blood. It worked on me, did it not? Yes. Blood is the definitive key to our species. Scowls, cleansing, lineage. Do you really think it worked? It has, Jonathan. I was nothing but a beast who took pleasure in slaughter. I roamed across Europe, reaping my bloody crop. It was the blood of hate. But my father's antidote cured me. Who are you, really? Who are you, really? How could I answer that? I went through many lives and identities to reach this day. Fair enough. To you, 
I am Elizabeth Ashbury, and that's all I wish to be. I respect that. I, I. No, I res respect your desire for privacy. I don't know. I'm not gonna judge you for who you were. I know that this is who you are, and and that this is who you want to be. As, and I suppose you might not wanna... I need to know more. I respect your desire for privacy. You know, if you don't want to tell me, I know enough. <laughs> I, I'm gonna respect it. Like, who she was doesn't matter right now. It Does, doesn't matter. And if shared with a, a judgmental person, then it's just it's just really dumb. They might judge you for who you were instead of who you are. So that's stupid. I'm gonna respect your desire for privacy. I understand. And I respect your desire for privacy. Thank you, Jonathan. How did you meet uh, William Marshall? How did you meet William Marshall? He was an Econ for centuries when he found me. He saved me from certain death by making me his progeny. Uh, why did he choose you? Why did he choose you? You should ask him that. Okay. Did you ever blame him? Did you ever blame him? Not even when he was infected and bit me. <laughs> he is my father. He raised me. He taught me how to behave. What about us? Yeah, that's a big question mark. What about us? What do you mean? You know my feelings towards you, Elizabeth. But you left without a word. So I'm worried about your feelings towards me. I love you, Jonathan. I've loved you since the moment I saw you rescue poor Mr. Hampton in that filthy slaughterhouse. Forgetting the danger as you turned your back like the newborn fool you were. Well, well, that's first sight, eh? You should have told me. You should have told me. No, Jonathan. The William Marshall myth lies at the heart of so many hostile plans. I could not risk jeopardizing his safety. So why did you come here? You knew I would follow you. I can't let you go. Because I know now the blood of hate is still in my veins. No one but I can put an end to this tragedy. I can help you. You can trust me, Elizabeth. I know, Jonathan. You have been the most loyal ally these last few weeks. But this is my duty. Would your protege agree to speak with me? I have so many questions for him. Go on, Jonathan. But be careful. Wait, what? <sighs> Hello, old man. Yes, Sir William. My God. You really are William Marshall. You served Richard the Lionheart and his brother, King John. It is such a privilege to meet you. I did in my day. Come closer if you want to speak, for my hearing isn't what it used to be. I think your hearing is fine, sir. What is it you want then? I like how we told him that his hearing is fine, uh, just in case he might want to danger alive. About the Tears of Angels? I found your research on the antidote. The Tears of the Angels. What ingredients did you use? Once I understood what the ingredients were, I used the tears of King Richard and the pure blood of the valiant Bodicea. How did you find them? King Richard and Bodicea? How did you find such relics? It took me many years to locate their hiding place. Then I had to learn the formula. If I recall, it belonged to an ancient brotherhood. 
The Order of St. Paul, I believe. Did it work? And did it work? Yes. The tears cleansed my poor Elizabeth's blackened heart. It was such a blessing to see her smile again. About the disaster? I found and defeated the disaster that was threatening to smite London. You should know that the city is safe for now, Sir William. Then may I call you brother? Did you resist its poison? Even a scratch from a beast so evil could endanger you and all those you care for. Who was the one you defeated? <clears throat> you also defeated one in 1666. Who was it? She was a malicious witch who spread plague throughout the city with her army of rats. She had been hiding in a bakery in Pudding Lane for months when I finally found her. How? How did you defeat it? We fought for hours. In the end, I had to lock her in St. Paul's Cathedral and burn the building down. I wanted to be sure she was destroyed. Tell me about the blood of hate. The blood of hate. How does it affect you? Do you feel it now? The blood of hate? Yes. Nothing more than a sneeze, really. A sneeze held for so long, you could blow a fortress down if you released it. Can we talk about vampires? I would like to ask you about vampires. Vampires? What about them? Considering your experience, please tell me what you know. They are terrible creatures. I have seen and fought many in my time. Foul temptresses with sharp claws and shrieking beaks. Shrieking beaks? Never seen such a creature. I have never seen such a creature. What are you talking about? Of course you've never seen a creature like them. Vampires are deadly, swift and implacable. Okay, this guy's crazy. Uh, tell me about... Oh, can we speak about Morgan? Can we speak about the Morrigan? The Red Queen? What of her? You met her, didn't you? You met her, did you not? Just once. But she never ceased to sing to me. I love her song. It is a song of blood and war. I only wish she would sometimes let me rest. Do you know who she is? Do you know who she is? I don't want to discuss this in front of my sweet Elizabeth. Why? For a time, she too could hear the red song. The steps she danced to its melody brought pain upon the world. I see. So... Do you know Mirden? Mirden? Do you remember Murden, your maker? Only God is my maker. For he created everything on this earth. He blessed me with eternal life through his archangel, Michael. But Murden, Michael, is a vampire. He made you a blood-sucking creature of the night. Blood, yes. I used to drink it from the throats of the unworthy. Then I was punished for my deceit. During my penance, I rely entirely upon my sweet Elizabeth. How is Elizabeth infected? Tell me about Elizabeth. How was she infected? I do not wish to discuss it. Please, Sir William. I need to know what the blood of hate is. How is it transmitted? After defeating the disaster in St. Paul's Cathedral, I returned to my retreat infected. This is where my sweet Elizabeth found me, for she heard my pain from across the sea. Where is that retreat? Maybe we're going there. Where is this retreat you mentioned? In London, under Temple Church, beneath my empty tomb. I always love to sleep there while listening to the bell above. 
Oh, I guess we're going back to London. What happened then? What happened then? The blood of hate had twisted me into a rage-filled man. I attacked my progeny and infected her too. Forgive me, Elizabeth. I failed you. You bit her again. Is that how she was infected with the disaster's blood? I think I understand now. Elizabeth fled, and I fell to my knees, begging for forgiveness. I swore I would find a way to make things right. How did you meet Elizabeth? How did you meet Elizabeth? Times were tough. I had awakened to protect the land from a new plague. I heard her sing for her dead family. Singing for her death to come. I chose to save her. When was that? When was that? It was so long ago. A few years after Elizabeth of England and Catherine of France established their alliance against Spain. What did you do next? What did you do? I raised her as my progeny. After she left to see the world, I rebuilt her deceased parents' inn. Owned it as William Thorne for a time. Those were good years. You sacrificed yourself? I just crafted the antidote and gave it to Elizabeth. Did you really sacrifice yourself to save her? That was the only righteous path. The blood of hate made me betray her. I am at peace here. I can think about what I've done and how I failed. Do you want to be cured? Do you not want to be cured? No. This hunger is mine. I would feel empty without it. It has been part of me for so long. All I want is quiet. Silence. Do you agree to be confined here? You agree to be confined here then? Yes. Once I was sure she was cured, I asked to be locked down here. I deserve it. The world needs it. I see. We could set you free? We could set you free. Let you out. Isn't that what you want? I pray for the day I'll see the sky again. I have all but forgotten its colors. I could walk and do so many things beneath the stars. But I doubt it would be wise to release me. Then will you stay here and repent? Elizabeth told me it will not be long now. I cannot wait to feel the sweet caress of her hand on my cheek after so long as she releases me. What? She releases you? Don't bite her. Has the him. time come? Oh. Yes, father. Why not unleash me then? To see the sky a final time. You already are the sky. And all its stars. I'm not defeated. For I welcome the sword you bear. For it is mine. You were never defeated, my lord. Farewell, father. <laughs> well, I could have done it. And to you also, Jonathan. Why? What do you mean? I can't stand what I've become. This healthy carrier, as you put it. The flames will purify the poison that runs in my veins. No! I won't allow this to happen. I am death. Jonathan, wherever I go, I can't stand it. I hope I have a choice. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed, champion of Murden, 
chosen to save England from the vampire epidemic. I could cure you. What do you mean? We are creatures of blood, Elizabeth. Everything about us is in our blood. With time, I could perfect the antidote William Marshall gave you. Trust me, for time is on our side. <sighs> that is a risk I cannot take, Jonathan. I won't bring another such disaster into this world. Elizabeth, no. Trust me. I can save you. How could I trust you, Jonathan? How could I take such a chance? I'll stay here with you then. As long as we must until I find a cure. You have no idea what you're talking about, Jonathan. Despite his madness, William was strong enough to start the centuries. I doubt we can do the same. We will lock ourselves down then. I'll get all the material I need and I'll perform my research here with you until you're cured. Are you mad? Who would take care of us? Who would free us if it takes decades or even more? Old Bridget will take care of us. You are serious, aren't you? You really are ready to do this. Not really. I love you, Elizabeth. I can do this. Please, stay with me. I... I believe you. This is crazy, but... I believe you, Jonathan. We can't just hang out in London, you know? I think that's fine. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Child born from darkness whose path he must find. Now the song is sung and your path chosen. England is safe, for you have prevailed. I bid you farewell, my champion, bittersweet. You found yourself a newer quest, and so I leave you to it. My queen sleeps once again, and I'll soon join her slumber, until alas she rises, woken by the hunger never fed. that it okay so we are locked down there with Elizabeth I wonder how much the choices matter could you have a different I think you must have at least one different outcome I could have been a massive jerk I might just go down there and like fuck you Elizabeth and I kill her kill the knight kill everybody Although I didn't have a lot of choices. Well, didn't have choices at all, as I recall. When it came to the end game. But probably my choices that led to the man I am maybe led to choices. Maybe led to who I was at the end. Damn. Gotta be said, being locked down there doesn't seem like the best choice whatsoever. But, yeah. Good game. I was a little bit annoyed by the lack of save, all the checkpoints, and uh, and the uh, fighting system is not really my style. But I did enjoy uh, the story, so that's that. And I tried to play it my own way. It's a good ride. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.